welcome back to my channel keto with sammy if you're new here welcome to my channel for today's video we will be doing a what i eat in a day on keto so currently it's super early in the morning it's eight o'clock in the morning you guys okay i dropped off my boys from school and then i am home taking my dogs out it's nice and cool i have the doors open i'm making my bed getting ready for the day usually i sit down and do my makeup and then i get a phone call and it's Dion. If you don't know who Dion is, he is my brother-in-law. He used to live with us. And um, while he was living with us for a couple months, he actually lost a lot of weight on keto as well. I helped him throughout his journey while he lived here. He came in heavy set. He had some weight on him and he left skinny. <laughs> But he did really good. So if y'all know Dion, I'm pretty sure if you've been watching me for a while, you know who I'm talking about. If not, he is my brother-in-law. And um, he's about two years younger than me. So we're around the same age and we connect really well. He's, he's really awesome. And since he had moved out and stuff, we really haven't got to see each other. We tried to go to the gym together a couple times, but he was always super busy. He has his kids. I have my life as well. But... He called me this morning asking if I wanted to go to the gym with him and I am up for it. And hopefully we can kind of make that a routine. He said he really wants to start going to the gym with me. But I know he's kind of all over the place sometimes. So maybe a couple of times throughout the week I can go to the gym with him. I personally don't go to the gym because I'll be honest, I don't have many friends to go with. I don't like going to by myself and I get anxiety. I have super bad anxiety. You would think I'm a bubbly person once I warm up to you, but if I'm by myself somewhere or specifically the gym, I get super ang bad anxiety. I feel like everybody's staring at me when they're not. They don't even care, but still, I just gotta warm up to things. Like I have to, I'm so used to what I do. When I try something new, I get really bad anxiety. So I just had to warm up to it, but hopefully we can go a couple of times with Dan during the week to the gym. So I got, I quickly got dress because he's on his way um i got my bag i got a, i need to buy a water bottle <laughs> i just realized that i don't have a water bottle that doesn't have a straw so all of them have like openings i need a water bottle that just twists closed so hopefully i can get one today when i go to the store later on so i got my water i got my slippers for after because i hate wearing tennies um and yeah i have my little thing to hold my phone with we are going to be doing arms today we're not going to be running i honestly i told him i was like i don't have no shoes because i don't have any running shoes like i have these nikes that i'm wearing yes they're like running shoes but i don't use them for running these are my i like shoes and like there's certain shoes that i keep for outfits these aren't shoes that i want to run in so i need to buy running shoes because i had some but they got old and you know how they get really smooth at the bottom after a while yeah they did that so i really need to buy running shoes really bad so hopefully we can get those soon but we're gonna be doing arms today at the gym um i'll get a couple of little clips for y'all that too i get super nervous recording in like public areas everybody does it but i do i'm like dion here hold this <laughs> But before we go to the gym, since he's on his way, I haven't ate. I haven't even had coffee. I was like, oh my God. Thank God though, because coffee and gym do not mix. But if you watch my last water in a day, you would know that I picked up these protein bars and I tried their chocolate peanut butter flavor. Super good. A little chalky. A lot of chocolate. But it wasn't too bad. But we're going to go in with this protein bar for the gym before the gym so I get something in my stomach. And then later on, I'm going to go to the store and we can pick up some more protein bars to try. Um, so this is by no cow. It's their no cow protein bar So it says no cow because it's actually dairy free So if you're looking for a dairy free option, they do have dairy free options that are keto approved in bars This is their s'mores flavor. They had tons of flavors, but I'm a big chocolate person So I picked up their chocolate peanut butter and s'mores. I'm excited to try this one dairy free 20 grams of plant protein one grams of sugar so um, Yeah, it just it just depends which one which bar you get on the macros i don't know it has six 26 grams of total carb 16 dietary fiber and six sugar alcohol so we're gonna go ahead and go in with this i'll give it a try right now um oh this one's different so this one doesn't have a coating of chocolate it's more like that's good because like the chocolate was good don't get me wrong but it was a lot the last bar like it was a lot to eat in a bar so I don't really care for bars th that are coated in chocolate, even though I love chocolate, because a protein bar, I just want to eat, right? I felt like it was a dessert. Even though it was really good, I just felt like it was just too much, especially when a hot day, like it was midday. But this one looks like this. It doesn't have any, like, chocolate coating. Mm. Mm. 
Okay, I like this one better. It don't taste like a s'mores though. Mm -mm. I don't know what it tastes like. Hmm. I don't know. It don't taste like a s'mores, I'll tell you that. I have like crunchy stuff in there too. A little smooth in the inside. I really can't explain the flavor. I would say it don't taste like maybe caramel type of thing. Maybe like a caramel mix with like vanilla. I don't know. It don't taste like s'mores, but I'm not complaining. It's still good. I like this flavor better. Um, I probably won't get the coated chocolate ones at all. It's just too much for me. But yeah, y'all give some bars, these bars a try. They're really good. I found these at HEB. I don't know if they have boxes. I bought them individually just to try. They might have boxes for you to try. Um, if you can't find them at your store, I don't know if Walmart has them. Walmart might have them. I just haven't looked because I found them at HEB. You can probably find them on Amazon or their website. They probably have a website if you're looking for a dairy-free option. I didn't really care that it was dairy-free, but it's it's pretty good because I like cutting back on dairy because it helps um, boost your weight loss if you do. So if you're like at a stall and you're having too much dairy, go dairy-free and it'll definitely help because I've tried it before. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wait for Dion. I'm going to finish up this bar and we're going to hit the gym. Hopefully it goes good. <laughs> Why do I get anxiety? Am I the only one? But yeah, we're gonna get in a good workout this morning and have some good meals throughout the day. gym i did it i got in a good workout um i tried <laughs> so i recorded and don't mind the clips dion was recording i was like here record me i even told him in the beginning you gotta record sideways for youtube and what was he doing he was recording straight up and down so sorry if the recordings aren't that good dion is not a good cameraman but he'll get the hang of it okay so i got a few clips for y'all we did some awesome arm workouts. My hands hurt, okay? I'm learning. This is my first day in the gym. And certain bars, like you know how they have the ridges? They hurt. And I should have taken my gloves. I have gloves, but now I know next time I go with him, I'm bringing gloves. Because look, I'm going to get ugly calluses. Y'all see this? This burns, okay? I probably could have pushed way harder, but my hands were hurting so bad. But we got in a good workout. I'm probably going to be sore tomorrow. And it honestly wasn't that bad. There was people there, but it wasn't like super packed. Like I said, guys, I get super bad anxiety, which is weird. Like y'all wouldn't think that, right? Because I'm so used to talking to y'all on camera and YouTube, but somebody's not directly in front of me. So don't get me wrong. It's not like when I go out, I don't talk to anybody. I just get super nervous by myself and I've always been like that. So when it's a lot of people and it's something new to me, I get super bad anxiety. I get really nervous. But I liked that I went with Dion. It made me feel more comfortable because he knew everything there. He knew what he was doing and stuff. That too, like I don't really, I don't go to the gym. So I get nervous like with new equipment I'm looking around to see where everything is how it's set up so I like that I went with Dion because he already knew so it made me feel better but we got in a really good workout we got in like a 20 minute cardio on the cycle as well which was really good I honestly think I'm gonna get a membership like um it's not even far from my house at all it's literally like five minutes away and I can only go with Dion Monday and Tuesday because Dion works so 
the only days that he's off is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, but I do things on Sunday, so I can't go with him on Sundays, but our only days will be Monday, Tuesday. But I'm like, I work out Monday through Friday, like I need to get in a workout. And I'm honestly kind of like burnt out. Don't get me wrong, like I love working out at home, but I'm kind of burnt out on it because I'm by myself, you guys. Like I need to get into a different environment. Like I need a change for myself. I've been a stay at home mom forever. Like I've been with Ray almost 10 years and we have three boys, I have them back to back. And I've been a stay at home mom all this time, right? So my boys just recently got into school last year all together. And now when Ray's gone at work, he's not here. My boys are at school. I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> So I honestly get bored like working on my garage by myself at first I had my TV in there and it was okay um, but I actually took out the TV because my boys TV had went out in their room so I took out that TV I put it in their room for right now and that just happened like two weeks ago and I just get bored right I just I need like I need a change so I think I'm gonna get a membership I think I'm gonna go ahead and start going to the gym and even if it's with Dion or just by myself um, I could probably meet maybe I can meet new people there and I just need something different I just need a change so I think it'd be really good um, To get a membership for myself and I feel like that would definitely push me more because I'll be honest Like I've been working out these past couple weeks, but I get so like not Excited about it because I just like same routine same thing going in there I'm home and I'm just burnt out right I just I just need a change and I feel like it happens everybody needs a change so I think I'm gonna get a membership and I think that'll be really good for me and it's not even expensive at all and it's literally right here so why not and they have everything you need there and I really liked it the place is really clean everybody is friendly um so far when I was there and I just need to get over my anxiety <laughs> so yeah and I want to make changes super bad like I want to tone up and I have really good equipment but they have, of course, like heavier weights and things like that. So I, could, I think I could really make changes really fast since they have everything there. And I could really move up in weights and stuff. So I think it would be really good for me. What do y'all think? Comment down below. But I had a really good morning. It was awesome. I came home. I freshened up. I kind of got dressed for the day. Um, and now I'm hungry. I got in a workout. I'm super hungry now. So let's go ahead and make a quick lunch. So I went grocery... No, I didn't go grocery shopping. I kind of... The other day... Um, it was hard for me to, those Tyson grilled chicken strips, they're kind of hard to find sometimes because they run out super fast. So I spotted some the other day at HEB. I already had some romaine here because I'm not trying to make all these crazy meals. I'm trying to really use what I have here at home because groceries are super expensive. So we're just going to have a quick salad. I'm going to make a grilled chicken salad, something very basic and simple. But this gives you all an idea that y'all can have that's pretty cheap. And then after that, I have to head to the grocery store for dinner stuff because I honestly didn't plan a dinner today. Uh, this video was honestly pretty random. Um, so yeah, we're going to pick up some things for dinner and have that later on. So let's go ahead and get started for lunch. Okay, so these are the chicken strips that I like to go in with. They are so good these are by tyson and i honestly don't really like tyson much but these are really good um these are their blackened chicken breast strips and they're grilled and they are delicious so i like to get these for salads sometimes i'll get like the low carb tortilla and make a wrap with these you can chop them up and they're just super simple to have on hand for some quick lunches so y'all definitely get these they used to be like seven dollars and i think now they're ten dollars they're like nine 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 something but it also depends on the store so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and take four chicken strips and i like to cook these in the air fryer so i'm gonna go ahead and pop them in my air fryer i usually do 350 for like 10 minutes i believe and then we'll go ahead and chop up some romaine okay so these are the items that i'm gonna go ahead and put in my salad besides the dressing so we got some avocado i'm gonna slice up like half a cucumber i'm gonna dice it up we got tomato and then we're gonna go in with a little bit of mexican cheese and then just our romaine I'm just gonna chop off about this much i'm gonna give it a rough chop and then we'll give it a good rinse You don't even have to do this. You can literally just buy bag salads, but I already had romaine on hand and I didn't want it to go to waste. Okay, my lettuce is nice and rinsed. I'm gonna go in with half a tomato. My chicken smells really good. It's in the air fryer, it's almost done.
And then our avocado. Hopefully it's pretty. I don't know. Oh yeah, nice and pretty. I'm actually going to go in with the whole avocado because I'd be tending to save half and then I forget about it. So we're just going to eat a whole avocado. And then I went ahead and rinsed my cucumber. I'm just going to go in with half a cucumber. I'm going to leave the skin off this time. I mean, I'm going to leave the skin on this time. And then I'll have the same lunch tomorrow. So I can just save the other half for tomorrow. start putting my salad in the bowl my chicken's done it just needs to cool down so i got my chopped romaine go ahead honestly half a cucumber was a lot still so i'll just save the other chopped up for tomorrow then we got our tomato our good fats we got in some avocados Okay, then we're going to go in with a little bit of cheese, just a serving size. And here is my chicken. It's nice and grilled, you guys. These chickens are so good, these chicken strips. If you've never been to Popeye's and had their blackened chicken strips, they are the bomb. They used to have green beans at Popeye's, but I don't know if it's every Popeye's, but the one near me, they told me they took out the green beans. But these blackened chicken strips there are so, so good, and they're blackened ranch. So y'all definitely give them a try. Okay, I just gave them a rough chop, and I'm going to add it to the top. Okay, I'm just going in with some regular ranch. Um, there is, this is just what I had on hand. There is cleaner versions of ranch out there. They are a little bit pricey, but if you want to try them, go ahead and give them a try. Or you can just make your own homemade. I actually do have a video on how to make some homemade ranch dressing back in my older videos. All right, guys, here is lunch very quick lunch for after our workout just a very simple salad you can actually add some cheese crisp in here they sell some cheese crisp at the store they're kind of like a replacement for croutons if you want something crunchy let me know down below what y'all like to add in your salads but i'm about to sit down and enjoy my first real meal of the day we had a protein bar this morning this is gonna be my first actual meal <laughs> stores so i went to walmart and heb real quick now i went to walmart specifically for some carpet cleaner because heb doesn't have the carpet cleaner that i like so i was going to walmart for that but i learned because my heb and my walmart are down the street from each other so it's not far at all but i kind of realized that heb ups their prices specifically at my heb they're like body washes um dishwashing soap laundry detergents like household items and pantry stuff like specifically kids snacks like cookies um mac and cheeses like pantry stuff like that is way more expensive at my heb than my walmart so if i have the time i'll go to walmart so i had to go to walmart i had coupons for like i think it leaked oh i had coupons for like dawn power wash so I grabbed some of that. My husband needed some more body wash. So I like to buy the body washes at Walmart because they're cheaper there as well. I don't know. Maybe it's just my stores. But I've noticed the price difference in high, um, household items like that. I got my carpet cleaner because I like to keep my carpet clean. So like once a week, I'll go over my carpet. And it's that time and I ran out. So that's what I specifically went there for. I think that soap leaked. I don't know. It smells like, it smells like it's soap. Maybe it was just like this. I don't know. 
so that's really what I had went to Walmart for. I needed some more um, of these. I had a coupon for these. And then my son needed a new cup for school, so I got him a cup. And that's all I went to Walmart for. And then I don't, so like I'll buy snacks from Walmart, like my kids' school snacks and stuff, because it's way cheaper there. But I don't like their meat. I don't like the produce, because it's never fresh. So I don't buy stuff like that at Walmart. Um, I just stay in the little aisles. So from H-E-B, I go buy my meat, I go buy my produce. And usually like if I need some like, um, just certain things like I got these chilies from H-E-B and stuff like that. So tonight for dinner, my husband, he doesn't do keto, um, but I cook two separate meals usually, but I kind of rotate them around each other. So tonight he wanted some red chili enchiladas, like stuff with chicken, make the chili sauce. He wants enchiladas, um, some corn on the side and some beans for him. So that's not keto, but I don't want to make two whole separate meals. So I substitute stuff. I have some low carb tortillas on hand. I know you're supposed to use corn, but I'm going to use flour, uh, low carb tortillas. I'm going to stuff it with chicken and we're going to dip them in the red sauce because it's, uh, it's keto approved. And then usually I make my own Mexican cauliflower rice, but I saw this that they brought it out new at my HEB. This is specifically HEB brand. I don't know if they have this in any other brand. So if you have an H-E-B near you um, and you want to give this a try, go ahead and try it. I've never tried it before. Usually I make my own Mexican cauliflower rice. I do have a video on how to do that. But why not just make it easier tonight and try this rice out. So this is by H-E-B. It's their cauli cauli Spanish style rice. It has, it says finely chopped cauliflower peas and diced carrots. Not, peas are low in carbs, but not, oh, it's not bad. Okay, yeah, so this is only four net carbs a serving, so it's not bad at all, okay? So we're going to go ahead and give this a try. You just microwave it for five minutes, and we'll see how it tastes tonight with our enchiladas. I got some chilies to make the sauce. I got lettuce for on top, garlic. My husband loves fruit, so I got some, like, plums, limes, red onion. He loves, like, mango. He likes to make mango nadas. I got some frozen mangoes, watermelon. Um, then we got the cheeses. So this cheese does not usually go into these enchiladas, but he loves the melting Oksana cheese. So we're going to mix that in tonight. Usually it's just queso fresco on top. So I got some queso fresco. These are the beans that he likes. Beans are not keto approved, but if you have an HB near you and your family doesn't do keto or, you know, these HBs are, these beans are the bomb. Okay. We got some crema and that's pretty much it. Some chicken. We got some chicken breast. But yeah, all right guys, that was my little haul. <laughs> but I'm about to like, I have a few, I have about 40 minutes left till I have to go pick up my kids from school. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my carpet. Later on, we will get started on dinner. All right you guys, let's go ahead and get started on dinner. It is officially around five o'clock, so I gotta go uh, start dinner already. I was doing some things around the house, getting things settled and all that good stuff. But we are making some chicken enchiladas tonight and with some like red sauce so i'll show y'all um i don't speak spanish so don't judge me on how i'm gonna pronounce these chiles <laughs> okay i'm just gonna show y'all the name i do not speak spanish so don't judge me i love mexican food though i grew up eating it all the time but i don't speak spanish okay but we're gonna go ahead and start boiling some chicken so i'm gonna take three chicken breasts we're gonna boil it with some garlic we have half an onion and some seasonings just to get it nice and boiled okay i got some water in my pot i'm gonna go ahead and drop in three chicken breasts and i went ahead and trimmed off the fat now if you want a quicker way you can totally shred up some rotisserie chicken but my husband does not like rotisserie chicken he hates meat on a bone so i go ahead and boil chicken okay we're gonna go in with some garlic cloves and then I have um, half an onion right here. We're gonna add some salt to taste. And then you're gonna go in with some chicken nor, some chicken bouillon. And then you're gonna go ahead and let this boil and cook through. I also started boiling some water for our chiles, so we're gonna let this come to a boil. Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my chiles. So I'm gonna take off the stems. I'm taking eight chile, chile guajillas. I think that's how you pronounce them, these chiles right here. I'm gonna take eight of these, take off the stems, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take two of these chile pasillas, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Two of these, take off the stems, and then we're gonna take four chile, I, I can't even pronounce these, these chiles, four of these, okay? I'm gonna take off all the stems to the chiles, and when the water boils, we'll add them in. So the chiles, you just take off the stem, 
You take off the stem and when you do that, you're gonna see all these seeds fall out. So you just toss those out the chile and they just pour out, super easy. Okay, I got all my chiles cleaned out, all seed deseeded and stems do not touch your face. Wash your hands, but my water is almost boiling. We're gonna put them to boil. Okay, my water is boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chiles. And you're gonna boil these for 15 minutes until they get nice and tender. Okay, my chicken is done boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my heat. I'm gonna take off my chicken and transfer it to a bowl because we're gonna go ahead and shred it up. But you wanna save your broth. Do not throw away your broth. We're gonna use it here in a little bit. I like to shred um, my chicken with my hand mixer. So after I shred this chicken, chicken, <laughs> after I shred this chicken, um, you can just put it to the side. But like I told you, my husband likes the Oksana cheese, I believe it's called, the melting cheese. And you're not supposed to really bake these enchiladas. So what I'm going to do is dice up the cheese and add it to the chicken while it's hot so it can get nice and melted. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and take this cheese. This cheese is not even supposed to belong in these enchiladas, so you can totally skip this step. But my baby likes what he likes, and he likes this cheese, so we're gonna add it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it into little chunks so it can melt with the chicken. I don't know if I'm gonna put the whole thing, but we'll see. Okay, I added the cheese. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a good toss so the chicken can melt the cheese. And then just set your chicken to the side. I like to cover it with a piece of foil or a lid just so it stays nice and warm for our enchiladas. Okay, our chiles have been boiling. They are nice and tender. We're gonna go ahead and carefully transfer them to a blender. Okay, after your chiles are in the blender, you're gonna add in one cup of your chicken broth that you saved. And do keep saving it because we're gonna um, add some slowly while we blend it. You're gonna go in with three garlic, garlic cloves. It looks like four, but I cut one and a half. Then you're gonna go in with one fourth red onion. We're gonna add in a little black pepper. Ground comino. And some oregano. They also have Mexican oregano. We're gonna go ahead and blend it, but if you need to keep adding chicken broth just to get it nice and smooth, you can go ahead and do so. Okay, now we need a strainer sauce. I need to buy a small strainer. <laughs> I only have this big strainer, don't judge me. Okay, we gotta strain it into a bowl. You gotta get out any of like the gunk that comes along with it. And if your sauce does come out thick, like I said, you can keep adding chicken broth even right here just to help you strain it better. Okay, once you're done, this is what you don't want in your sauce. So you're gonna go ahead and toss this out. Okay, after you strain your sauce, you're gonna take a pan with some oil. You're gonna go ahead and add in your sauce, your enchilada sauce. We're gonna season with some salt to taste. And then you're gonna add in some more chicken bouillon, some chicken nor. And you're gonna go ahead and let this come to a simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, my sauce is almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave, um, this cauliflower Spanish style rice that we got at HEB for our side. I'm gonna pop it in the microwave for five minutes. Stir enchilada sauce has been simmering for 15 minutes. You can go ahead and turn off the heat and we're gonna warm up our tortillas. So of course, normally these enchiladas are ate with corn tortillas, but of course corn is not allowed on keto. I know they came out with a low carb corn type tortilla. I forgot what brand it is. If y'all know what it is, comment down below. I haven't seen it. Um, hopefully I can get it in my area and we can try them out. But for now, we're going in with flour tortillas just to keep it on the low carb keto side. So I have some carb sense tortillas by HEB. I was desperately trying to get my hands on the pro keto tortillas from HEB. If y'all know, if y'all have HEB near y'all, HEB makes fresh tortillas in store and they actually make some fresh keto tortillas and they taste like homemade and they are so good i was desperately trying to get my hands on those but they didn't have any so i went ahead and sent out for these but it'll do it's not gonna be like the best because y'all know package tortillas they have like that after kind of taste but it's okay we're gonna eat them and enjoy them the sauce is gonna be really good so i want to heat up my tortilla i'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the fire just to heat it through a little bit i also have some toppings over here so i got some sliced lettuce 
We're gonna add a little lime juice because I like lime. And then you're gonna go in with some crema. And then we also have the queso fresco to crumble on top. You can also go in with some sliced red onions, but I don't really like raw red onion, so I'm gonna leave that out. Our Mexican style cauliflower rice by HB is done. I'm just gonna add it to a bowl and we'll see how it tastes, see how this goes. Oh, it looks pretty good. You know, I trust HEB. I absolutely love HEB products. All right, guys, let's go ahead and prepare our enchilada. Sorry, I had dipped the flour uh, tortilla on here, and then my dog started barking like crazy because I heard something outside. But you're going to go ahead and dip your tortilla into the enchilada mixture. Put it on your plate. I'm going to have two. Then you're going to take your chicken. We're going to go ahead and stuff them with our chicken. And then you're going to go ahead and carefully roll them up. It's a little messy. Okay, and then you want to go ahead and top them. So we're going to top it with some lettuce. Queso fresco. I love me some lime juice. I'm going to add some lime juice on here. Crema. Oh, or a lot of crema. <laughs> side of the Spanish style cauliflower rice. All right, you guys, and here is our dinner. Doesn't that look so good? And actually, that cauliflower rice, the rice smells super good. All right, we're going to go ahead. This is my last meal of the day. We're going to go ahead and give it a try. Okay, first, I'm going to go ahead and try this cauliflower rice from HEB. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. It needs a little bit more salt, but not too bad. This is really good. I can definitely get this for some quick, like dinner side, if I don't want to make my own Mexican rice. Mm, that's really good. All right, let's dig into these enchiladas. All right, big bite. This is a dinner, you guys. So good. Y'all give them a try. Give them a try. Let me know what y'all think. But I'm about to sit down and enjoy my last meal of the day. All right, you guys. I ate dinner earlier. It's actually kind of late. So um, I ate dinner. It was really good. I had some great meals today. And we were watching the new Hocus Pocus movie. If you haven't got to watch it, it's really good. I really liked it. So that's what we were doing. And now we're about to call it a night. But I hope y'all enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day. And it gives y'all some ideas on what y'all could have throughout y'all's journey. Definitely make those enchiladas. They're super good if y'all want to have something different. Or if you're missing enchiladas, I highly recommend them. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one.